While officials across the U.S. are reintroducing public health restrictions like mask orders and advisories to wear them amid a surge of COVID-19 cases, many local authorities have been banned from following suit by legislation and executive orders at the state level. Florida's Miami-Dade County and Orange County, where Orlando is located, have both recently recommended residents wear masks in crowded areas as COVID-19 surges in the state, despite Florida's restrictions for local governments. The recommendations are not enforceable mandates, however, and Governor Ron DeSantis' office warned Orange County cannot impose civil or criminal penalties on citizens who choose not to wear masks in a statement after the county announced their recommendation. For one day in May, mask mandates were banned in Idaho. Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeechan signed an order blocking schools and local authorities from requiring masks while Governor Brad Little was traveling, claiming they have done significant physical, mental, social and economic harm. Little rescinded the order a day later, describing it as an irresponsible, self-serving political stunt and a tyrannical abuse of power. High-level decisions that prevent local authorities from taking steps to safeguard public health have proven controversial and unpopular, especially for taking power out of the hands of local authorities. In response to Florida Gov. DeSantis blocking all local COVID orders, Orlando area representative Anna Escamani tweeted, the party of small government once more exercising big government policies. States and counties that still had mask mandates in place began ditching them in May after the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention released new guidance saying vaccinated Americans could forego masks and social distancing in most settings. By July, Hawaii was the only state that had not fully reopened, having not met the 70% of the population fully vaccinated milestone set by officials at 59%, it still hasn't. The majority of new guidance, which is primarily led at the local, rather than state, level, recommends mark wearing in indoor spaces and social distancing, though some areas have gone farther and introduced new mandates. Los Angeles and Las Vegas, for example, have both reintroduced mask requirements. The mandates apply to fully vaccinated people as well as the unvaccinated owing to the now dominant Delta variants increased transmissibility and resistance to vaccines used in the US while less effective at preventing infection and moderate illness, the vaccines are still highly protective against severe illness, hospitalizations and death 0.83%. That's how many sequenced cases of COVID-19 the Delta variant accounts for, according to the CDC. Cases are rising in all 50 states and some, particularly in areas with low vaccination rates, are reporting severe surges and climbing hospitalization rates.